When I discovered the metallurgy program at Mohawk, it was a bit of a fluke. It wasn't something that my high school guidance counselor knew about. I had a friend that was in a welding program at Mohawk and I, we were hanging out and I read his heat treating book one night and I thought, wow, that is really cool. How you can change the properties of the material by heating and cooling at controlled rates and you know. So the rest is history. With developing new technology is always, always safety issues. So I'm, I'm on the safety committee. I work a lot in, in uh, safety activities in the lab. Um, also, my, before I started managing the casting lab, I was working on specific projects, and I still really like to do that. So I try and spend as much time as possible uh, working on you know, solving technical problems. Uh, for about the last year, though, I've been spending most of my time working on designing a new lab facility at McMaster Innovation Park. This um, brings to Canmet a lot of, uh, of good, solid technical expertise, um, which he picked up at, at Mohawk in, in, his, in his training um, and has developed that further through uh, a number of activities over the years that we've had um, going in through our experimental casting laboratory and uh, that's been a very valuable source of, um, of expertise for us uh, as we uh, put together our new building uh, for, for Hamilton. He can work with multiple people and he can um, uh, motivate them so that uh, he can um, bring a good result to, to the work. So that's where he, he brings quite a lot of his experience and talent to MTL because uh, this is not a single person environment. Uh, research is uh, multiple persons, multiple uh, partners and stakeholders. So he brings them together and listens to them and provide quite uh, uh, creative ideas. Peter was probably uh, the key guy from our side on the uh, v Victoria Cross uh, production. Um, basically he was uh, responsible for uh, coming up with the uh, techniques um, and actually physically getting the, uh, the molds to work out uh, to get the detail to come up in the, in the uh, castings. Put it this way, it's not a commercial uh, type of an alloy, uh, which makes it, uh, its fluidity is, is not um, amenable to uh, a number of different casting processes. So there's a number of very specific tricks that we had to, uh, that Peter actually uh, came up with to actually make the thing work. So it's great, we set up a hands-on uh, event where kids and it's geared towards younger kids up to high school age where they can come and play with molding sand and see liquid metal being poured and, and really it turns out these are things that most people don't get a chance. Yeah working with him is a good thing and he's a nice guy and he's always pleasant and uh, I, I thank Mohawk College for offering him a good guy to work at MTL and I hope that he'll be with us for a long time to come.